Hello and welcome to a pro patch breakdown here at LOL Class. Let's take a look at this week's changes. So Korg got quite some changes. His passive got changed a bit. Now his passive does 10 percent bonus damage and half his damage, like damage, magic damage. So no longer two damage, but he does more bonus damage and half the damage is uh, magic. And then there's uh, the package, the new change to his W, which means that after eight minutes in the game, there will be a package at the fountain which Korg can pick up and then boost his Valkyrie to be uh, like almost double the range, I think. And it will knock enemies to the side, like Raven's uh, E spell. And it will be a stronger burn, I think, on the W. So it's gonna be like a, the ultimate NA equalizer. So if you wanna be a core key player in NA now, this is your chance. The rest of the kit is kinda like the it was before. The Q is still just at the bomb, uh, the E is... The E hasn't changed though, it reduces magic just now. I believe do that before. And then the ult is the same. Uh, every third hit is a big one that does more damage than the small one. Goblin got quite some change in the season 6 patch. His uh, Q gives a large amount of attack speed at higher ranks, 50% at the uh, level 5 on the Q. But however, the biggest uh, kit is the W and the R. The W is now giving you, uh, as always, high range. It has a lower cooldown at level 7. And also, it gives, um, it makes your attack speed cap double. So you can attack 5 times. However, uh, I'm not sure how it's gonna be if you're going to like new attacks with this. But I think that you're gonna be like a. And then stand still and just be like a machine gun with uh, Kogmo and you'll like shred everything in your area and uh, so I'm interested to see how W is gonna play out uh, I think he's gonna be more AD focused maybe because he gets so much attack speed from this um, however the E is still the same it's just a, a line skill shot that slows and damages everyone that is, is in the trail and uh, oh, a big change it's more of a execute spell now it does a lot more damage to uh, targets that are below uh, 1 fourth HP so yeah I think Kogmo is like a machine gun and execute Execution so these Ash changes are pretty interesting. The changes to our passive works a bit differently, and I think I like it. I did really enjoy having the auto crit after each auto, but now it's going to be just she auto attacks as normal, like every other AD carry, but she gets a super slow on her autos, which is pretty interesting just because she's still like a super utility AD carry, and they're kind of just reinforcing that taking away a bit of her reliability, but talking about reliability, we're going to a Q where she actually does insane damage all the time if she's able to keep five stacks of her Q up because it doesn't actually have a cooldown now. It doesn't slow any extra, which changes a bit of her playstyle because I used to throw out like volley that was buffed with the Q when I'm trying to run away and stuff, but it still looks pretty good in team fights just because you can permanently have your Q activated, which always did an insane amount of damage actually. So it's gonna be pretty sweet. And then, um. Her W, counting as a crit just to increase the slow is uh, not too big of a change, but just makes it so her W slows pretty hard all the time, which is really nice just for kiting everyone, getting away. It's pretty sweet. So overall, these ash changes look uh, really nice. Ezreal changes are also kind of weird. Uh, they really only change his Q and his E, besides the stat buff. Um, they made it so it's more rewarding to hit your Q and more punishing if you don't because it's got a 0.5 second longer cooldown if you don't hit it and uh, the cooldown reduction is 1.5 instead of 1 so interesting at the least that means all of your other abilities as long as you're hitting a Q will be a shorter cooldown and then his E was increased in cooldown uh, at higher at uh, higher ranks yeah which I don't really know the point maybe they didn't want you flying around the map with the new Q buff so besides that not too many changes to Ezreal at the moment unless like Trinity Force is broken I don't think Ezreal will be too strong in this patch all the items look super broken though so we'll have to see so the Jinx changes are pretty interesting uh, there's two of them one of them was her Q has minus 15 percent attack speed when you're using your rockets which is kind of weird because i feel like they're trying to buff every AD carry but now they're just making it so jinx is like somewhat of a nerf in here maybe the possibly the only one but besides that her passive is uh you get a harder reset basically so whenever you get a kill you get 15 percent attack speed which stacks each time you get a kill which will be pretty nice for in fights like being able to clean up with uh increasing rocket attack speed but still a bit weird for like her laning phase just poking in general having lower attack speed that's that's not going to feel very good so i don't know it, it looks okay uh probably one of the weaker ad carry changes of this patch but jinx was pretty strong at uh snowballing on current patch live 
Uh, so these Lucian changes are pretty cool, I think. Uh, they're kind of accenting the way you can build them. So the change is uh, his ulti doesn't scale to attack speed, but now just shoots a base of 20, 25, 30 bullets. So that means that you can go a bit more caster build with the, the items they're putting in. And that means that you, you'll basically just try and hit as hard as you can with your calling with your items so that it just basically just one shots people. Whereas before, if you if you tried to build like that, it would be super slow shooting out. It would still do a decent amount of damage, but it just wouldn't really be able to kill people because there'd be not enough bullets fast enough. So I, I like the changes, which would be pretty fun to play. So Tristana got uh, not big changes like Corki or Kokmo, but you got slight changes that the Q is changed so that now it's only attack speed uh, boost, not the cooldown reduction if you hit something with the, your explosive charge on. And the W has a new effect that if you get kills, assists, or max stack uh, explosive charge, which is your E, uh, bombs on champions, the W uh, cooldown is reset. So if you get 4 stacks, which is the max stack on your E, uh, the W cooldown will reset. So you can jump even more now, not even not only on kills, assists, but also on, on max stack uh, E's. Also, the E's, um, the explosive charge, uh, now abilities such as Psana's jump and her, her ult applies uh, E stacks so that you can put a stack on someone, jump on them, hit them once more, and then ult them for four stacks, which is a pretty good burst, I would say. And that's pretty much what happened to Stana. So she's not changed that much. She's kind of like the same still, but she has a different style. Now, the W damage also is a lot bigger uh, later in the game, but bigger early game. So around like level 13, I think she will have a pretty strong burst if you max W second. So the evade changes are pretty weird. They basically just made it so uh, the percent max health damage is increased goes from 8% to 12% from live to BB. So it's pretty good buff against anyone with tons of health, but against anyone who doesn't have tons of health, it does a bit less damage. Overall, I don't really know how that's, how that's really gonna affect the game, just cause against AD carries, you'll do a bit less damage. Against supports, you'll do a little bit more damage. So I don't know, uh, we'll be interesting to see. I think it doesn't really help or hurt her too much. The Urga changes are his ulti uh, to kind of go along with the new items and uh, the way the new Last Whisper works. They made it so you just take 30, 40, 50% reduced damage instead of getting a ton of uh, bonus armor and MR. Just so that you're not e randomly easier to kill, uh, which would just be a random nerf to Urgot when he's kind of unplayed. So they gave him a little bit of love. So overall, uh, most of these changes look like pretty significant buffs to the ADK role in general, which I think is pretty necessary, honestly, because over the last like few seasons, few patches, it's always just nerfs downhill for the ADK. Like everyone else is seeing these nice buffs. Mid lane got all these new AP item changes so that it's easier to get your large rod earlier. It's just easier in general to buy your items. Top lane got like Black Cleaver, Dead Man's Play, all these tanky, sweet items. And we're and the AK is just kind of like left behind. But now we're actually getting some love, seeing some new items come out to play with. Uh, I don't know if they're going to be like super bonkers, but it definitely looks like a step in the right direction for AD carries. Should be a good amount stronger than before. All the base stats being buffed and none of the other roles getting the same thing. Like top lane also doesn't get extra base stats. So I think it'd be cool to play. Lots of fun. Testing out the cannon, testing out Essence Reaver, uh, gonna be really sweet. ADK changes, sp changes specifically, uh, hopefully there's some more bonkers ones that I didn't talk about, but I, uh, definitely am pretty excited for this new patch. 